I love caliber koa. Hmm. I've got I some new to... plants from the garden center this spring. Within a few days after getting them home, something was eating them in my petunias. The blooms and leaves are damaged, but the plant is not dying. I see no larva or eggs on the plants, but hmm. there is a shiny residue like slug slime. What could it be and how can I treat it? And this is Kelly from Bartlett, Tennessee. So, you know, we had a wet spring. It's dry now. Mm. Yeah. We had a lot of so rain in spring and early summer, which causes slugs and snails yes, to be worse. So yes. I have a feeling that's what it could be. I and they're do. feeding at nighttime. You're not out in the daytime. Oh, you're, you're not, not seeing them. them, seeing them. Out in the daytime. And caliber koi particularly is prone to, I've found here, okay. uh, to snail issues. So also, okay. if it happens to be in a little bit of shadier situation, you know, I know caliber koi is a sun plant, but you might yeah. have it where it gets some shade. They'll be worse in that, that situation. Right. Uh, but it could also be, you mentioned earlier. Oh, right. Well, you know, when she mentioned the, the shiny, shiny substance, rock. I was just thinking, you know, uh, feeding from soft bodied insects uh, like aphids, um, white flies, things like mm -hmm. that. As mm -hmm. they feed, they'll excrete honeydew. Sure and it could even be setting below something, dropping the it honeydew. Right. Yeah, Good point. Maybe be. they're the feeding on yeah, the crate myrtle, myrtle right. and that's the right. pots underneath that's the right. crate myrtle. That's yeah. Right. yeah. Yep. So yep. Uh, that's a possibility. I know I didn't, eventually that honeydew, in most cases, will develop black sooty mold on it. But and in the picture, I didn't see any of I that. I didn't see any but, either. Um, just that was kind so of a slugs, tip. snails probably. Yeah, yeah. probably. Right. Yeah. Oh, and then she said, "How to what? What are some tips for controlling yeah, I could those? I don't, I've never right. really had issues with slugs. Well, I've never I do dealt at with home that as well as here occasionally. Uh, you know, if they're in pots, oftentimes they'll go under the pot at nighttime okay. or in the evening. Or I'm sorry, in the daytime when they're at, yeah, you know they so look hot. for yeah. hiding places. So right. eliminate hiding places. There are slug bait, slug slug baits out there. Just be careful if you've got pets. Be sure and use some that yeah. are there are some out there that are safe yes. for pets. So be sure and, and monitor yeah, for that. Yeah, iron phosphate is the active ingredient. You know, for those that are safe for pets, iron phosphate." Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I um, and then of course you can also pick them off. You know, go out with flashlight. Yeah. It's amazing what you can see at night with a flashlight. <laughs> um, and, and, or a black pick, light. Yeah, or a black light. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. About that. Yeah. Yes. Like, how about that? Yeah. You just have to know the environments that the snails and slugs like. Right. Yes. Damp, wet, you know, things like that. Hope you enjoyed the video. We would love to get more questions from you. So be sure to leave us some comments.